Frank Langella's politician worse than Skeletor. If I'm not there, nothing is done right! Frost Nixon. When Watergate forces Nixon out of the White House. Okay, what would, what would Jake do? What would my father do? What would Lucian do? It's like... That's your problem, right there. You've got to ask yourself is, um, what would Harry Rex do? Mm. And what would Harry Rex do? Cheat. Cheat like crazy. He agrees to a series of interviews to try to salvage his reputation. The only one who's changed is me. I've become bitter, and let's face it, crazy over the years. And once I'm swept into office, I'll sell our children's organs to zoos for meat, and I'll go into people's houses at night and wreck up the place. And after some setbacks, Frost manages to secure the interview. So you really think you and your friends can stop me, He-Man? The first of which Nixon manages to get the upper hand in. Encourage me a little bit, a little encouragement. Is that what you want? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You were wonderful in there. The way you handled that judge. Oh, you're a smooth talker. You are. You are. Only to throw it all away on a drunken phone call to Frost, who then digs up information and surprises Nixon when he confronts him with it. Well, uh, the question is, uh, is vague. You don't say what kind of candy, uh, whether anyone is watching. Or, uh, uh, <clears throat> At any rate, I certainly wouldn't harm the child. Only for Kevin Bacon to sensibly cut it short, only for Nixon to foolishly override him, leading to a total humiliation. Sometimes I think there's more hate in this world than even Kevin Bacon can handle. It's not fair. Just when he'd given us the key to solving our problems. And that key would be... Well, to dance. Which Frost compounds by giving him shoes. Worth watching for Oliver Platt and Kevin Bacon. That man, he screwed anything that moved, <laughs> fixed elections, and took us into Vietnam. And the American people, they loved him for it. Whereas I, Richard Milhouse Nixon, worked around the clock in their service, and they hated me. It meant that the man who had committed the greatest felony in American political history would never stand trial. It was like he slipped out the back door. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> damn it! Damn it! And Kennedy's so goddamn handsome, I'm blue-eyed. And women all over him. He screwed anything that moved and everything. Had a go at checkers once. The poor little bitch was never the same. Please, Mr. Nixon, we're appealing to your sense of decency. Seriously, though, I'm never giving back this body. Now beat it before I get Cambodian on your asses.